Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Todd. Happy birthday to you. Join in. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Todd. Happy birthday to you. Well done, even did a germ free blowing out the candles with his fan. <laughs> Happy birthday, Toddy. Have a great day. Thank you. Say thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Take the cake into the kitchen. Hold two hands. Two hands. I got it. Oh, right, off you go. Got it? Yeah. Bye. Oh, that was exciting, wasn't it? So, as you can guess, we've had. A day celebrating Todd's birthday. And it's his birthday today. He had lots of presents. He had lots of cards in the post. Thank you, postmen. Thank you, delivery people. And he even managed to get some food and a nice chocolate birthday cake. So he's been really spoiled. And so I thought today's story could be something to do with birthdays. Not a cake, can you think of anything else to do with birthdays? Not a cake, not candles. <gasps> what could it be? Birthdays, what, what do you think of when you think of birthdays? Cakes, candles, is there anything else? Anything else that you might think of? <gasps> your favourites and you all love batting them about my front room when you come to play. Balloons! We all love balloons don't we? So colourful and bouncy and fun. So I thought I'd read a story today called The... what colour is it? The Blue Balloon. The Blue Balloon is a story by a man called Mick ink pen and he writes fantastic stories and some of you might have seen Kipper the dog he writes the Kipper stories as well and this book the blue balloon was one of the first stories that I bought when I learnt to be a teacher a long 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 time ago and it's still one of my favorites and look there's Kipper and a great big balloon <gasps> that doesn't look like a, a, one, the size of my balloons that's, that's small and that one is really big because they're stood right next to it. My goodness. Okay, let's have a little look and see. And there we've got Kipper. Kipper's holding a balloon in his mouth, but it doesn't look very inflated, does it? It looks a bit deflated. Let's find out about this blue balloon. The day after my birthday party, Kipper found a soggy blue balloon in the garden, which was odd because the balloons at my party were red and white. That's strange, isn't it? He found a blue balloon, but the, the, the ones at the boys' party were red and white. I blew it up. Can you blow your balloon up? Get your balloon. Hold it between your fingers. Put it in your mouth. Pretend. <gasps> Just a little bit. <gasps> a little bit bigger. <gasps> a little bit bigger. <gasps> Even bigger. <gasps> How big's your balloon? Okay, it's really, really big now. What are we going to do? Hmm? Are we going to let it go and make it go all around the room? Are we going to tie it up and let it float away? Or are we going to blow it until it pops? What do you think? I'm going to make mine go all around the room. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, that was fast. What happened to yours? There he is blowing up his balloon. At first, 
honest, I thought it was just an ordinary balloon, but now I'm not so sure. It is shiny and squeaky. And you can make rude noises with it. And also if you give it a rub, you can make it stick to the ceiling or my shoulder. Look, it's very clever. <laughs> Just like an ordinary balloon. But there is something odd about my balloon. It doesn't matter how much you blow it up. It just keeps on getting bigger. Get to the waiting for the bang. Bigger. And bigger. And bigger. Until Ooh, it did what my balloon did. <laughs> Shoot it away. I love that page. You see, it never ever bursts. Never ever. I have squeezed it and squashed it and whacked it with a stick. I have kicked it and run it over. And stretched it. You see that? Isn't it clever how they put these extra bits into books? Stretched it. And Kipper has attacked it. But it is indestructible. I think that my balloon has strange and wonderful powers. The other day, it disappeared completely. Look, it's gone. Just the string. Wow. And when it came back, it was square. That's amazing. And this morning, while I was taking it for a walk, <gasps> look, where are they going? It decided to take me for a fly. <gasps> up, up and away, look, they're going so high. Wow. Higher and higher up with the birds. <gasps> up, up. Oh my goodness, where have they got to? And down, down, down. <gasps> where did they land? Looks like the moon. <laughs> it was quite a trip, but we were back in time for tea. <laughs> Kipper's having his tea. So, if you find a soggy old balloon, whatever you do, don't throw it away. You never know. Especially if it's a blue one. You never know what it might do next. Whoa. Look at that, a beautiful rainbow long balloon. Wow. I love that story. It's a brilliant, brilliant story. It's one of my favourites. Thank you, Mickey Pen. We enjoyed that. So now I think we need to sing a song and I think perhaps we could sing the rainbow song. Can you remember the rainbow song? Red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, Sing a rainbow to Can you? Should we try that again? Look, I've got some rainbows behind me. 
red and yellow and pink and green orange and purple and blue i can sing a rainbow sing a rainbow sing a rainbow too while we're thinking about what to sing whether you can look around your room where you are can you spot anything red can you see anything red can you see anything red in your room i'm gonna have a look around here and see if i can find anything red oh i found something yay if you can reach it you could hold it up too i found a red brick <laughs> okay, this time let's see if you can find anything orange. Ready, go. <gasps> Does anybody see anything orange in here? If you're not anywhere where you can see many colours, you could look in my room. What can you see? Anything orange? <gasps> Yay! An orange balloon. Just like the one in our story. How about yellow? Can you spot anything yellow? Look around your room. If you're sat in a chair, you can look around your room. If you're allowed to get down and find it, you could pop over and get it. Ready? Go, see how many yellow things you can find. I'm going, gotta find my yellow things. Oh yes, my yellow things. Oh, actually yellow wasn't too bad. Look, here I am. I've got my yellow fireman's helmet, firefighter's helmet. I've got my maraca. I've got my plate and my bananas in case I get hungry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. How about green? Go, go, go. Find something green. Green, green, green. What can I find? What can I find? What can I find? Oh, yes, I can find this. Have you got anything yet? Have you found anything green? Oh, I'm having a good look. I'm quite lucky because I'm in a room with lots of toys. Oh, yay! I found a green alien and a green dinosaur and a green train and a green tree. Yeah, <gasps> did you find anything different? Well, good if you did. That's amazing. Okie dokie. Let's sing Five Little Men in a Flying Saucer. Put your five fingers ready. They're going to be our little men in a flying saucer. One, two, three, four, five. See if you can count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, five. Five little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! How many have we got now? One's gone away, and we're left with one, two, three, four. Have you got four? One two, three, four. Check with your nose. One, two, three, four. Four little men in a flying saucer flew around the earth one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh! And we're left with two have gone away. And one, two, three decided to stay. Three. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Off they go. Oh my goodness, we've only got. One, two left, and we had five to start with. 
and now three have flown away and we've got two left. Two little men in a flying saucer flew around the earth one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Whoosh! <gasps> Can you guess how many are left? How many? One little man in a flying saucer flew round the earth one day. He looked up and down and he saw a little town, so he decided to stay. Hooray! <laughs> I love that one. I used to sing that all the time. Okay, let's have a little look at my numbers. And I've got a special clock. I hope you can see this properly. So, we've got on the clock the first number. Number, do you know what this number is? Number one. I'm going to spin the hands on the clock. I'm going to stop on a number. Shall we see? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Which number will I stop on? <gasps> oh, which number is he pointing to now? Number... Number three. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, round the clock. Ooh, he's getting dizzy. Where's he going to stop? <gasps> oh, here. What's this number? I'm hoping it doesn't look backwards to you, but it might. Number two. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, round the clock. Where will he stop? Nobody knows. He's getting very dizzy. Way. Number five. Well done. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, round the clock. Where will he stop? Tick tock. <gasps> Number four. <laughs> well done. Clocks are very useful for learning our numbers. Oops, I'm telling the time. It tells us what time, they tell us what time it, it is and whether it's tea time, whether it's bedtime, bath time, lunch time. Very, very useful indeed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed story time today. I've had a lovely time and I shall see you all again tomorrow.